glory for the diverse encounter and visitation. We are grateful to you. For the diverse encounters. Thank you, mighty God. Blessed be your holy name. King of kings, we say thank you. Lord of lords, we say thank you. Thank you, Asian of days. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. As this 21-day prayer and fasting ends today, your challenges come to an end. Your setback, they come to an end. Your limitation, they are crushed. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Those things that used to oppress you before, they will bow to you from today. If you are saying amen, say better amen. And whatever has vowed that 2018, you will not make progress. By the mantle coming upon you, that devil will be smitten. Amen. Say amen like a believer. Amen. It will happen for you in this service. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Make that amen louder. Amen. It is my new dawn era. What eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard shall be the order of the day in my life. Congratulations amen. and amen. Put those hands together for the Lord and please be seated. Praise God. Like was announced in the first service, please, we have been praying, binding, losing, casting. It's now time for you to go and register for your voter's card. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Anyone that have collected a vote from any believer and is now sponsoring that, oh Lord, key them. Now it's time to go and vote the right person. So you need to go and get your voter's card. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It's necessary. Praise God. I don't say that it's closing this week. It's a lie. It's not closing this week. It's a continuous something. And like we said again, please, if you are sitting on the first two, three row, you dare not bring your phone out. I will personally pick you out and walk you out. I don't want that distraction again. It's not winner style. I don't know where you learnt it. But you can't practice it here. Are you know what I'm saying now? You can't. You can't practice it. In Jesus' name. In the first service, we focused on impartation of power. And hear me, you need to know the reason why power must be in place in your life. No destiny gets fulfilled without power. Luke 4 verse 14, and Jesus returned in the spirit of power. And his fame went abroad. Yes, we are getting rounded up in the fasting. But you need an impartation of power that will move your life forward. That will make you experience the blessings that have been appointed to you. That will silence every devil. Say, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves unto thee. A testimony was shared in the first service of a woman who has been going through consistent attack. A woman coming to make love to her. 
So when she now placed the mantle on her tummy while sleeping, something mysterious happened. That personality came again that I've not been seeing you again. And she took the mantle and smit her on her face. Physically, there were a smitting where she was. Her face was someone like was burnt with fire. So finally, she was confessing to the son-in-law, to I mean to the son, that uh, she's behind all the things that have been happening to the wife. So she now used the mantle physically and smit her again. I want to say to someone here, whoever has vowed that the blessing God has ordained for you will not come. I want to let you know that that person will go down. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. So, the mantle manifests power. This second service, we are looking at impartation of the spirit of wisdom. The church of Jesus is in the era of the manifold wisdom of God. Wisdom is the container, is the treasure holder of peace, of wealth, of honor, of blessings. And Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7, wisdom is the principal thing. In all thy getting, get understanding. So if you lack wisdom, you are lacking the principal thing. Everything in life and destiny answers to the wisdom of God. So anytime you notice your life is not going forward, wisdom is missing. Anytime you notice that you are misbehaving, you are doing things you are not supposed to do. Wisdom is missing. Paul said, when I want to do good, the good I want to do, I do not. The evil I don't want to do, he said, I find myself doing. He said, who shall deliver me? It was not an issue of prayer, because if it was prayer, it was a good praying man. He said, I pray in tongue more than all of you. At that point, he was lacking wisdom. Samson had the anointing, but he didn't have wisdom. He had the anointing, but he didn't have wisdom. So the wisdom of God is the glory carrier of everyone child of God. He's a carrier of glory. So every time we increase in wisdom, we are increasing in glory. We're increasing in glory. In Proverbs 4 verse 18, the part of the joss is as a shining light, a shining brighter unto a perfect day. The implication is that you will increase in wisdom. You can secure wisdom through prayer and fasting, but to make that wisdom more effectual, you need an impartation. What is wisdom? Wisdom is knowing what to do and doing it. Wisdom is knowing what to say and saying it. Wisdom is knowing where to go and going there. What you need to do, you start doing it. Anything you are not doing now, you don't know it. And anything you are doing now can be a product of foolishness. A wise man is doing something. A foolish man is also doing something. Are you hear what I'm saying now? Uh -huh. Because scripture says there is a way that seemeth right. A foolish man also claims right to what he's doing. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof. It is wisdom that makes you think of the end thereof. Whatever you are doing is a choice. But don't forget, every choice has a consequence. Both positive consequence and negative consequence. 
So if you choose to do the good thing, you will have positive consequence. And if you choose to do the bad thing, you have a negative consequence. Many people only think after they are finished doing their foolishness. At that point, you are left at the realm of regret. But that will not be your portion from today. Yeah. Wisdom makes you to see what others can see, thereby enable you to do what others can't do. There is what I can see now that you can't see. There is what Papa is seeing now that I, that I can't see. Two of us. Wisdom is in levels. It's in levels. So the wisdom of God is the difference maker. If your life is going to be different, then the wisdom of God is in manifestation. Joseph was not a citizen of Egypt. He was not even qualified to vote or to be voted for. But the wisdom of God gave him a place where no man can contest. Could anybody argue it? But I want you to understand this morning that this wisdom can be imparted. It can be transferred. It can be contacted. It can be transferred. And Joshua was filled with the spirit of wisdom because Moses has laid his hands on him. I bet you, I am sure that Joshua was craving for the wisdom that was upon Moses. If not, there wouldn't have been a transfer. He was craving for it. He was longing for it was desiring it to happen. Impartation is God's signature upon the life of the one that has been imparted. It is God's endorsement. My life will not be complete without impartation. Your life also cannot be complete without impartation. In fact, without impartation, you suffer more limitations. Every destiny has a targeted end to reach. But the more impartation you get, the more the power of God moves you to the next phase, to the next level, to the next door, to the next opportunity. The frequency with which you receive impartation will also determine the frequency of your progress. No wonder Papa said, we have not known a better last year. Every year is a plus on the previous. Why? He's an addicted follower of prophetic impartation. Very soon now he will take off to uh, Tulsa for impartation. Can you take him? Very soon he will take off to Kenya Copeland. Very soon he will take off to Adegwe. Very soon he will also go to Idahosa's house. Impartation. The reason why you are struggling is not because you don't know how, what to do or how to do it. There is no driving power that will make you reach there. So wisdom, like we said, determines the frequency of happenings in your life. So every time you are privileged to be imparted, get set for a new height, for new progress, for new open doors, for new level of creativity. An impartation takes place from a higher vessel to a lesser vessel. A person that is lower that you can impart you, you can impart him. You can impart him. 
everyone that understands the mystery of impartation, they follow it and it works. It works. The reason why it has not worked for you is because maybe there is a misconception or you lacked the understanding that can make it work in your life. We are your strength cannot carry you to impartation can carry you to that place. I'll give a very clear example in the first service. Papa has been fasting for 16, for 40 years plus. How many years? Will I now equate my own uh, chicken 16 years to his own? It's not possible. It's not possible. So every time you are imparted a higher grace, a higher hand, a higher power comes upon you. What the person experiences in terms of blessing, breakthrough, open door, you too, you begin to experience. God instituted it so that you won't come and think it is a church doctrine. It is not a church doctrine. It started with God. Joshua was imparted by Moses. Elisha was imparted by Elijah. When Saul came in the company of the prophet, scripture says he also began to prophesy and he went onto a high place. Why? Because he has received impartation. So any door that opens to the prophet or the one that is imparting you must definitely open to you. Let me give you a clear example now. Though it has been bastardized in Nigeria now, a policeman raises his hand like this and um, you are supposed to do what? The reason why you are stopping for him is not because he's the one there. It's because of the uniform he's wearing. Two of us. In Johannes' book, if the light shows red and you move in the next two minutes, police will just catch you you will pay fine on the spot. It's not that uh, I didn't know. I didn't see it. It was a mistake. They will collect your key, collect your license, you go and bring your money and pay before you collect it. If you are speeding too much, a <laughs> megaphone will just blow. We are seeing you. <laughs> So everybody maintains a cool head. What impartation does, it brings about a transference of spiritual authority. Authority. And maybe you don't know, if you have wisdom, you have authority. Scripture says wisdom is better than weapons of what? War. A wise man scaled the city of the mighty. Wisdom is profitable to direct. You may have power and not have direction. So in this year 2018, the new dawn God is talking about, you need wisdom. You need a new dimension of creativity. You need a new dimension of insight. What eyes have not seen. What ears have not heard. You begin to see them. And as you see them, you do them. Time will fail me to talk in depth on this. I've discovered People that follow the impartation of their father, they reproduce the results of their fathers. There's a pastor I met in 2013. 
His name is Pastor Dambo. Pastor Dambo was a pastor in this ministry until he relocated to his country, Liberia. So when we went for that pastor's meeting, he came. So I saw a number ringing. I didn't pick. I ignored it. He now sent a text that I was so and so person, please pick. I'm Pastor James' cousin. That's where I picked. And you know, I'm Pastor James' in-law. And I picked. He said, I want to see you. So he now followed me to my room. So I said, what do you want, sir? How can I help you? He said, I was told you have all the messages of Papa 15 years back. You have a BOA. You have a, a Remo. You have a Jeme. You have many others. Can I have them? I said, I won't give you until I know who sent you. So, he now said, okay, come, let me explain to you something. He now brought out a folder. In that folder is their church building. He said, this is our church in Liberia. You no, know, that's how they talk. He said, I don't do anything different from this ministry. As our theme of the month is January, prayer and fasting works. That's how he announces it in his own church. As we are getting teaching outline, covenant our prayer, that's how he's doing it in his own church. And his church is over 10,000 membership. Who you follow determine what follows you. Who you follow determine what follows you. If you follow a foolish man, you will get the product of a foolish man. If you follow a foolish man, you will get the attack of a foolish man. No wonder Paul said, be followers of me as I am of Christ. So, when he was showing me, I was overwhelmed. He said, now that um, you, you are thinking of uh, Operation uh, Wonder Double, that I want to also key in, and they say that you have some of the messages on church growth and uh, enlargement and all those stuff. I said, okay, go and buy your hard drive. He now went and bought this hard drive. I said, tomorrow morning you will collect it. Why I made reference to him is not a pastor of this ministry. Doesn't he hear God? Can God show him things about his own ministry? But he chose to follow the one that is already making progress. Anything we do here is doing there. Another good reference is Ibiomi. Ibiomi preaches Papa's message word for word. He's not ashamed of saying He has even said it on TV. When he started, that's what he was doing. But today, the difference is clear. If you follow five foolish people, finish it, will not be me talk. If you follow five wise people, hear what I'm about to say. I learned something from Sam Ademi. He said, becoming an expert. He said, whoever you value what they carry, be listening to them. But make sure they are not less than five. In no distant time, you will repackage, reproduce whatever they are doing. Two of us. If you are not following anybody, nobody will follow you. If you are following bad people, I want to guarantee you, the only thing you will be getting that will be following you is a, a catalog of bad, bad people. Am I saying the truth? Yes, Two years ago, we went and visited Dr. Paul and Angel with me and one of my pastor. Immediately we entered. He didn't even ask us what we came for. The first thing that came out of his mouth is, what is the new thing that Papa is doing now? What is the new thing that Papa is doing now? Write it. Write it. After writing it, forward it to my mail so that I can also be doing it. Is he producing the result of Papa? Follow them who through patience obtain what? A good report. Now, 
What do you need to do for this impartation to answer in your life? Number one, you must be born again. If you are not tired of your frustration, if you are not tired of your stagnation, I'm not talking to you. If you are not tired of where you are, if you are not tired of your foolish steps, because you can be on a foolish journey, journey that will not profit you or add value to you, because motive determines outcome. You must be what? Born again. If a man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away and all things are become what? New. You must be born again. Number two, you must receive the person and believe his ministry. I won't forget the last all night before Shiloh Papa said, who you believe and receive is your choice. It's not by force. Scripture says, believe the Lord thy God and thou shalt be established. Believe also his prophet, so shall thou what? Prosper. It's your choice. It's, it's not the prophet's choice. It's your choice. It's not imposed on you. You cannot be forced to it. It's your choice. A man is a product of choice. So every day we are making choice. As you are here now, you, are, you made a choice to be here. So who you believe, who you receive and believe, is your choice. You never become what you have not believed. So you must believe it. You must believe them. The woman with the issue of blood only heard that Jesus was on his way to Capernaum. And she said, if only. That was the beginning of a miracle. Not when she touched. If only I could touch. That was an impartation. Wisdom. Now wisdom made her break rules. People with such affliction don't come in the midst of people. But she took a step, knowing where to go and going there. And as she got there, she got healing. Jesus said, somebody touched me. And the disciple responded, everybody is touching you. He said, somebody touched me because I know power. I've gone out. The wisdom of God also manifests the power of God. She believed that if she touched something will happen. The next one, honor them in your heart. Honor them in your heart. Like I said in the first service, the church worldwide, or globally, is experiencing an epidemic of rebellion. What can pastor do? He won't do anything. But the one that is backing him will do you something. Don't sit under any person you can speak against. If not, you don't get the blessing, you get the cause. A pastor you can criticize. You can use your mouth to tear. Can never be used of God to bless you. You can be attacking his honor or the oil upon his life. No matter what you say, it is you that goes down. It doesn't go down because you are speaking ill. You are the one that is going down. I gave two examples in the first service. I'm giving another one now. A pastor, not outside in this ministry, was speaking against Papa. Gradually. Say with me, gradually. He became a noisemaker. You know, you know when you are a noisemaker, you are not 
imparting anybody again. And Papa one day, you know what he said? What you do and leave? You don't have anything here. Do and leave and go and start your own. My grace is not showing you your life. He has gone now. He can't start ministry. He has gone to secular work. I know the reason why many in church are not making progress are not going forward. They are victims of what I'm saying. You may be here stylishly now for a purpose or this thing. But as far as you are against that prophet or that pastor, I want to let you know heavens will be against you. The hand of God will fight you, fight your husband, fight your career, fight everything about you. One pastor, every day they are analyzing Papa and Bishop Abiy. Say, they don't know what they are doing. This is that. This ministry has enough money to pay everybody. Before you know what's happening, poverty entered. The little business they were doing, packed up before. And as usual, it's the devil. They went and confessed. Forgive us, it's the devil. Who suffered it? Did Papa go down because they were talking? Please, I beg you. Any pastor or somebody has coerced you to criticize or speak against or speak against his family, run from your life. Don't sit under that pastor. Because if he said, you are blessed, and just will say, your own is a cause. Be careful. Run. Go and stay under who you value so that your life will go forward. Because no man is an island. Any man that is made, someone was an instrumental to his making. As anointed as Papa is, God told him, get down to Bini and meet my servants. I'm making it so that you understand what I'm saying now. Papa said, no, upon all the things that I've been hearing about him, and God told him, do you know him more than me? Do you know him more than me? Be on your way now. He got the phone number and called it a bishop. But I'm coming to see you. God said I should come and see you. He responded. I knew you were coming because God told me you are coming. Hear me. Does not matter the gossip you hear. It cannot affect the oil. But rather the oil will be fighting you and working for others. Immediately he got there. He said it. I've asked several things about you. I even said I was not coming. But God asked me, do you know him more than me? And he prayed for him. I said, I impart upon you the gift of on time. Before a need arise, the supply will be on ground. Is he working? He's still working till today. He's still working. He's still working. He's still working. If he had carried in his heart, they have told me plenty things about you. I'm not coming. God forbid. I'm not going there. He will have missed a face. Another time he went, he said, I impart upon you the lionic cat. When you roar, forces will hear your voice. Our force is hearing his voice now. The person you are speaking against may be your age mate, but it's not your grace mate. Be careful. I remember one that said one day, if you are there, I'm a day. If you speak in tongue, I speak in tongue. Even in the witch world, there is hierarchy. There is constable. There is sergeant. There is inspector. There is ASP. <laughs> Am I saying the truth? 
So don't go and damage your life. Let there be a change of perspective. I said again in the first service, pastor go, pastor come, barak remain. Two of us, anyone that come has something that God will use to advance you, to make a way for you, to bring you to a place. But if you miss it, that error will be your error of wilderness, error of stagnation. Even our pastors in this ministry, they know you can't speak against Ojeme. You can't speak against Abiyue. You can't speak against Papa in my presence. No matter your year of entry, I will shut you down. If I don't slap you, you say, small comma. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. It's as serious as that. They told them, Kenneth Copeland, that uh, you are following uh, Hege. Hege will lead you to hell. Oh. He said, wherever Hegin goes, I will go. If he's going to hell, I'm going to that hell. That hell must be a good hell. <laughs> there are people that know you beyond what people say. If what people say, scatter church, why haven't they been able to scatter Ibiomis church? Or scatter Canaan land? Okay, more recently, Stephanie Otobo confessed. Uh, that some forces manipulated her to speak uh, to work against her. You heard it. You saw it on Facebook, Abi. You saw it in your WhatsApp. It was now calling him daddy. The person you were sent to go and work against is the one you are now calling daddy. People shout, which daddy? Hear me and hear me well. If you miss this aspect. I want to let you know you will struggle like a man. You will struggle. I've discovered also that people that criticize their pastors, including pastors, not in there for them. They will walk in foolishness. A good example was Gehazi. Gehazi never believed his master. So everything he was doing was on the contrary. But in cup full, that particular day that that man came for prayer and brought prophet offering, <laughs> he pursued the man. My master said, "Me carry this money. Go. Is he a lie? You bring her. I go give her." <laughs> and as he came back, as you we were going, my heart was following you. And what he got was leprosy. You either get the blessing. Or you get the leprosy. Which one do you want? It's your choice, oh. You cannot make me to get what you want. I will get what I want for me and my family. You also get what you want for you and your family. Number four, I mean number five. Crave for what they carry. Crave for what they carry. Each prophet carries something. Each prophet carries something. I discovered something and I pursued after it, although it took me time to get it. Bishop Abue and Pastor Jeme has the creative wisdom of Bishop Oedeko. Papa can talk to them with word of mouth. They can interpret what Papa has talked about in writing and delivered it. Some of our outline, some of our um, prophetic focus for the month, most times it's not Papa that writes it. Those are the people that write it. Why? He has duplicated his wisdom upon them. So when I spotted this, I pursued after it. I pursued after it. I made sure I get it. When wisdom comes upon you, nothing will be impossible for you. When others are saying there is no way out, because you have been imparted, you will know the way out. The sons of Isaac are were men of understanding, and their brethren were at their command. Why? 
there is something resting upon them. My prayer for you is something will rest upon you today. Yeah. So if there's anyone that uh, even our pastors, they know these two people, they have this thing. They have this thing. They can rub. <laughs> They have craved for it to the point where they have developed a soul tie. David said, my soul followeth hard after thee. Wisdom determines the, 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 your victory. It determines the battle you win. It determines the door that opens to you. It determines profit in your life. So if you know who has the wisdom that will be guaranteeing profit, crave for it. Pursue after it. Pursue after it. I said again, I didn't want to be a struggling preacher. You can be a pastor and be struggling. You struggle in everything. So I needed creative dimension of ministry that makes it effortless. Not that you are preaching and you are under pressure, tension, everything. No. As I got it, ease. Say to your neighbor, ease. You need ease in life. If not, you will suffer dis-ease. And wisdom can give you ease. A man of wisdom is, a man, is always at peace. He's not struggling. Anything you are struggling now, you need an impartation to make it work. I remember when Sam Ademi was struggling for his church to grow. He needed to see Papa. And finally he was able to meet Papa. Papa told him, keep making the grass green. Keep making the grass green. The sheep will come. Keep making the grass green. The sheep will come. And later he went again. Papa showed him steps, things that we are doing in this ministry. And as he began to do them, he was getting the same results. Now they are running five services. Is he a shouting preacher? So crave for what they carry. Number six, is it number six or number five? Engage in a soul tie. No, engage in a son and daughter relationship with your prophet. You can't abuse your father. Who you call your father, you can't abuse him. Who you call your father, you can't stand who is abusing him. Who you call your prophet, you can't be a part of who is abusing him. No! Any person you are abusing or you are joining who is abusing him, is not your father. He's not your prophet. He's not your pastor. Sham, Ham, and Japhet. You remember their story? One of them saw their father's nakedness. Then they would have to say, God forbid, batting. They came from the back and covered it. No wonder in 2015, Biomi told me, God told him, don't look for Papa's fault. If not, you will get it. Go for the anointing. And he said to me, the day you start following people that are speaking against Papa, I bet you your oil will dry. He told me. This one is not dream. He told me. He said, your oil will do what? Dry. One saw their father's nakedness. The other one said, God forbid. I won't be a part. That was why he was cursed. Canaan now that is flowing with milk and honey was once cursed. It was Moses that removed the curse. Please, I beg you. It's better you crave for carry what they carry or look for what you will say about them. Like I said again, any person you are speaking against is not going down. You are the one going down. You are going down. And lastly, stay connected. Your connection determines your collection. Who you are connected to determines what flows to you. You 
If you are not connected, you can't collect. Sometime, was it in 1996 or 86? I can't remember the exact. Papa went to preach in Joss. As he was preaching, a woman did like this. Do you know what? Angels gave her a package of stone in her womb. She was carrying stone. So after some years, she now went to a church. She, was, she needed deliverance by all means. That's why some people that are running from one prayer house to another now, if you check within, they do them. Now this is the amount. Thank God for that prophet that they said, there is a man of God you insulted. Go and look for him. Let him pray for you. I cannot remove this thing from you. If not, you remain like this. So he now went to do fasting and prayer. Lord, where is the man of God? And the Holy Ghost just whispered to him, do you remember the day Oyedepo was preaching in Joss and you did like this? She now traced Papa to where he was and started confessing. Who carried the stone? Was it Papa that carried the stone? Papa, Papa just laughed. Whatever you did that brought you under this torment, you are forgiven. That stone is dissolved in Jesus' name. Scripture say, He that confesseth his sin and forsake them. Some people, they don't want to confess. They want to tell people, I don't beg on any degree, oh, go and confess. He will forgive you. It is pride to say, for you not to be able to say, I am sorry. And the scripture say, pride goeth before a fall. Not only that God rejects, resists the proud. And give grace to who? The humble. So, if pride is following you, witches and wizards are not the one doing you. God's hand is against you. It's not witches and wizards that is in you. It's God's hand that is fighting you. So stay connected. Don't stay disconnected. The moment you stay disconnected, things stop flowing in your direction. If this were to be a life plant now, the moment you uproot it from the mother branch now and drop it on the ground, it will only remain green for some hours. After that, it will dry up. The moment you are disconnected, you are drying up. Even you too, you will know that you have started drying up. But may you not miss it. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. When wisdom comes upon you, exploit is not a struggle. Whether academically, exploit. 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 You have struggled enough. Believe this impartation and your destiny will be accelerated. The progress you couldn't make before, you begin to make them. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better, amen. amen. Every impartation guarantees a change of face. And that's why God said, this year is your year of new dawn. Which means I want to start something unique and awesome in your life. You need an impartation that will usher you. Not you struggling to make it work. That we usher you into the realities of those blessings. Rise up to your feet. I don't know what you want because everybody knows what he's looking for. If it's the blessing, if it's the virtue, lift up your voice now. Lord, as this impartation come upon me, let my wisdom bank be upgraded. Increase my creativity. Enable me to know what to do part time. Let doors of opportunity open for me. As this impartation comes upon me, what is hard and difficult for others will be possible for me. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lekatosapalikete suzezi. Leambrekli kotos anende. 
Je kusiga la breke te susezia. Lord, you are the imparter. You are the imparter. I believe what you are set to do today. I believe what you planned and programmed for my life. La route kosi keteri andada. Je klepe bredino suteteliya. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are not born again, you are not entitled to this impartation. It will only give you heat. But the moment you are born again, Jesus will make sure your portion is delivered. You want to make it right with Jesus wherever you are, put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord and be my Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. If you pray that prayer with me, just come right now. I want to pray with you. Your own impartation will take place here. If you are coming, come quickly. Put your hands together for Jesus. Pastors. I, your Lord, if you are coming, come quickly. We don't have any time to wait. Destined for greatness. Pastors. For doing. For to reign in life. God, oh, ordinary blessing. As this oil come upon you today, mark a new dawn in your life. No more shame, no more reproach, no more failure, no more stagnation. From today, your life will go forward. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The heavens open for you. Amen. Your days of struggle, they are over. Amen. Just wait here. The impartation will take place for you here. Please pass the mantle right now. If you came with your handkerchief, all you just need to do is to touch it. It's already charged. Mantles does not discharge. Are you hear what I'm saying now? Mantles does not discharge. That's why when that dead man was thrown into the grave of um, the prophet that died, he jacked back to life. Mantus does not discharge. As this man to come upon you, put it on your forehead and begin to pray. Lord, whatever has made success easy for this commission, for Bishop David Oedebo, Lord, do the same in my life. I believe your servant. I believe what you are doing in this place. Open doors that cannot be shut. In the name of Jesus Christ. At this impartation come upon me. Let struggle die. Struggle come to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Struggle come to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Struggle come to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord. Let the floodgates of ideas. Let strange doors of opportunity. Open for me. As this impartation come upon me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is fighting with the blessings of God upon my life. Lord, as this man to come upon me, let my change of story start. Let my change of story start. In the name of Jesus Christ. 2018, I will not struggle. I will not struggle. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Have you imparted this people? Okay. Lift up your voice and pray. Jesus is alive and the Lord is Nembro dodo zendo la bayagada. Reja ke katari andele. Leombro do su katali ande. Jeruande abela kata. Ruje kote prekete. Lord, by this impartation, let the floodgates of ideas open up for me. Baru tekeleri amendo lo brocha kutelia. Na beberi ketosizo. Le kande ye de kutana. Twenty eighteen, I will not struggle. I will not be stagnated. I will not be frustrated. The lines will fall for me in pleasant places. What I couldn't do before and get results. From today, 
I will be getting uncommon results. I will be making uncommon success. I will be achieving uncommon progress. Lord, by this impartation, distinguish me this year. Distinguish me this year. Pray from the depths of your heart. You have struggled enough. It's time to make progress. It's time to go forward. Leande, Bushaga, Bero Dabaya, Rizose, Liketekete. Lift up your voice. Declare from the depth of your heart. You never see what you have not said. Declare it. Lord, this is what I want to see this year. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Take up that mantle and begin to wave it. 2018, the heavens open for you. 2018, no evil will take place in your life. Any power that is looking for you, I decree, let them go blind in the name of Jesus. No enchantment will come to pass in your life. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Strange doors of favor will open for you. Amen. Where others go and fail, when you go, you will get results. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Your hand will not underachieve this year. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. So shall it be. Amen. Any strong man that has vowed to deal with you this year, I prophesy against them by the power of God in this mantle. Let them go down for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Any man or woman networking with witchcraft, networking with evil people to fight you and fight your family. Let them enter wilderness this year. Let the earth burn like oven for them. Jesus said, I'm the one that opened it and no man can close. I pray for you by the mantle upon you. If you don't have a mantle, put your hand on your head. By the mantle upon you, the heavens open for you in the name of Jesus. Your family will not struggle to eat. Your family will not struggle to go to school. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Whatever is behind the hardship you are going through, let them bow to this mantle in the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. It is done. Amen. I say again, it is done. Amen. I say again, it is done. Amen. Congratulations. Amen. I'm expecting your testimony. Congratulations.